in der, nur der großer, großer Ausgangssperr. Als alles normal. Nees. Ähm, gestolt geschneit. Ich linke mal ein Video in drin, hei. Da relativ schön. Ähm, mit da sehe ich irgendwie nicht mehr witzig, dass kein den irgendwie irgendetwas weiß. Als Ausländer, den in Japan lieft, als es schwer für irgendwie eins zu gehen am momentanen Klima. Schon hat man, das aus ein, ein Livecam vom äh, Scramble vom Shibuya Crossing. Äh, relativ cool. Äh, Mengen, die meisten wissen, was das ist. Ähm, die 100.000 Leute, die Kreise quer über die Straße gehen. Ähm, und da gesagt ihnen, dass man Leute da sind. Aber nicht massig Männer. Es sind Männer Leute da, aber so, so viele Männer dann einfach nicht. Ähm, aber auf aber alle Fall, ähm, das da war der Weekend, wo man erklärt hat, dass man, ähm, wenn man nicht um Campus geht, verlieren, dann eventuell nicht auf den Campus dir vergehen, weil den, 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 den Virus so kann, keine Ahnung, überzeugt gehen? Das, ja, keine Ahnung, also ich, ich sehe kein Expert mehr. Ich habe gemerkt, dass so die Viren überdrohen, dass das alles irgendwie ähnlich geht. Mehr anscheinend nicht. Na, ja, du gesagt, noch ein bisschen Schnee. Wunderschön. Ähm, das ist heute Morgen. Äh, Gold's Gym. Das ist eng von den populärsten äh, Muckibuden äh, in Japan. Und die, so in der Lübe, die Leute, wenn es gelieft, dort eng muss gehen. Du gibt es in ein klitschko kleines Problem, an der das, dass Masken überall ausverkauft sind. Ich weiß nicht, warten sie mit ihren Klienten machen, die keine Masken und den, ähm, vielleicht gehen sie gratis Masken. Denn das hier ist interessant, dass man in Japan noch nicht so gut kennt, dass das der Paradox, dass äh, an der japanischen Kultur das auch ein Konzept gibt für äh, die ausländischen Geschichten relativ schnell zu akzeptieren. Gold's Gym zum Beispiel, pff, äh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, äh, Amerika, klar, äh, also Gold's Gym, also lo kein äh, japanische Fun äh, Erfindung. Ähm, natürlich sind sie ein bisschen ungepasst auf die lokale Gu, aber manifeste mal aber nicht, was äh, äh, das Lokal ist. Ähm, da gibt es da Mengen, dass sie Welt offen sind, aber äh, keine Ahnung, wie Welt offen vielleicht für den neuesten Trend, aber so ist so es aber mehr schwierig. Ähm, das so, das Verstehe ich nicht. Aber äh, das ist ein Kombini 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, übrigens, das ist ein japanischer Sport. Ähm, die, die den 7-Eleven aus Amerika kennen, das sind wir aus sich, als das ein, ein, ein japanischer äh, äh, Multi, Multi-Konzern. Und äh, die haben 30% zwischen dem 27. und dem 3. und sie 30% auf alles. Boutique war idle. Nein, ich bin da. Also, bald nein, ich bin da. Ähm, witzigerweise waren äh, die Kondomen an den Wein relativ gut gefroht. Für eine Population, die äh, zurückgeht, dass das bestimmt nicht schlecht. Da war äh, bei mir, der Moin, an, äh, äh, beim Training, da sind relativ wenig Leute im Moment, so wie ich verstanden habe, 50% Männer ungefähr, an so einem Loh tut den immer so ein, ähm, tut den ein Läppchen für die Maschine aufzumachen, normalerweise. Ähm, da das zum Beispiel hat, das funktioniert halt gut. Also, Lützebursch, du musst du Käsing-Maschine auf, du, ähm, 
Do, wenn ihr überhaupt ein Duch hört, dann sind sie sich vielleicht auf Duch mit Maschinen aufmachen, möchte ich gehen. Das, möcht, das möcht machen sie hier sowieso. Das wird nicht mal ein Virus, der den Heiget doch fies Maschinen aufgemacht. Äh, mehr mit einem komischen Läppchen, den, keine Ahnung, äh, wird gerade ganz hygienisch aus. Und ähnlich äh, schon mal länger geguckt hat, wie viele Mikroben auf so einem, äh, so einem Läppchen sind, den so benutzt oder betascht wird von den Leuten. Nee, nicht so gut. Lohunse. All die Lappen schon weggeholt und überall ähm, halt äh, so, so, so Paper Towels ähm, mal ein bisschen Desinfektant äh, dahin gestellt, dass ich so halt Maschinen kann aufmachen. Ja, eine relativ clever Idee. Ich meine, das ist äh, besser wie, wie den, den dreckigen Läppchen. Und natürlich, just für zu lachen, ähm, kann ich sich ein Handtuch lohnen und kann ich ihn, äh, sich äh, schwung und so also weiter so fort an äh, äh, der Weekend wird ja zu und ich meine, es war mehr zu, äh, weil sie irgendwas etwas Neues installiert haben, die Maschinen da zum Beispiel aus Neu, wo wir noch von so relativ viele Sachen umgebaut äh, und da gesagt ich natürlich äh, äh, Englisch, uff, ai, ai, ai. Um, It is easy to use and choose, most of everything is there, friendly operation with reliable. Englisch heißt magisch. Und die ganz YouTube-Channel, die nicht anders das machen, wie äh, hier zu Port Englisch, also nie nicht zu holen. Und äh, nach der Tod, das ist auch, das heißt nicht mehr Leute infiziert sind, als Wunder. Um, like, this is in, in my local Oseki. Uh, Oseki is, is, is a rather Japanese uh, shop. Well, like all the locals go because it's it's rather cheap, and then you've got we've got all the goodies you you would use in in, in your home uh, Japanese cuisine, um, and and this magical uh, tool is basically uh, to uh, to <laughs> moisten your fingers to open the plastic bag. So this is after. Everyone has fondled your, your bloody goods. And then afterwards, you just go and, and touch yet another really disturbing piece of uselessness um, to kind of open a plastic bag. Hmm. I wonder how germs spread. And I would argue this is a good way of spreading germs. Oh, the, the, the live stream is happening. Oh, ah. Oh, they're even making pictures in the middle of the crossing. Yeah, that's that's actually a live stream uh, from NHK that shows the crossing, and um, it has a pretty. Ooh, that dude has a funky dress. Yeah, that's that's pretty magic. Yeah, anyway, like this crossing is magical for many reasons, especially if you cycle through here. Phew, amazing. Anyway, back to uh, to Ozeki, who tries to to spread the germs. I guess these kind of things are like, yeah, I don't know, why are they still around? It's like, yeah, it's, even without a virus, you can get God knows what, like herpes, at least. And this is our latest move on let's make the university great again, or like at least the like the, the campus where we live. Um, I don't know. What... Use your bent elbow when coughing. Okay, yeah, I got, I got that. I, it's, okay, yeah, sure, sure. Actually, hand sanitizers all over the place. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. But if unwell, please refrain from entering. Hmm. Well, that's if you're a visitor. If I live here, yeah, more complicated. Well, anyway, like, And again, the, the English proficiency is so utterly bad in this country. It's it's kind of scary, honestly. At least I can I can speak a little bit of Japanese. I can get around. I know enough words to say I am really bad and I need medical assistance. But people who have no Japanese at all, phew, I really hope they live in their little expat bubble because otherwise, you're bloody doomed. Um, even this morning, and I went, I went to the gym, so there. Um, and um, I tried to explain that because if I am on a machine, I might sweat. That the the basket with uh, 
with this actually, with this in, if that's in my way, I might actually soil it a little, like my spread sweat on, that's not too, and that's where my Japanese basically stops. I don't know how to explain that I am sweating enough to make this not good. So in the end, we understood each other and it got moved and a profuse thank you session was in order, which, and that, that is one of the very major thoroughly ingrained um, cultural, cu cultural, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to, I don't want to say practice, but one of these, like, it's, it's deep in the culture where, where they are, where they are apologizing for, for like everything. And the 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 magic of of that of course is that th you would even get an apology for nothing like if you cross someone in the street they would bow well they i don't want to say they it's like it's it's in the culture it's uh, it's as we back in the day would actually greet people when we cross them um now it's more matter of uh, we don't greet anyone anymore but well, basically, um, you would get run over and still get a friendly, apologetic bow, which that's that's kind of kind of funky. Here's here's another uh, precautionary measures against the COVID nineteen disease. Yeah, sorry for the Russian accent, but apparently, people who know me, I have a, a little bit of a let's say I'm tainted. Um, yeah, also Russia closing the borders again, uh, well, not again, still, and declaring a one-week holiday, but the companies need to continue pay, and what do, what, what do Eastern European cultures do when you have a one-week holiday? You go to your dacha, of course. What happened? Massive travels. Uh, just so Kind of cumbersome. I don't know. That's like, okay, yeah, well, I, I understood the thoughts, but yeah, weird execution. So this is the latest um, in-house uh, rules, like be sure to keep your own thermometer. Like a couple of weeks ago, like a month or two ago even, I had a little cough and a little fever. I don't know what it was. It was probably not the respiratory syndrome disease, but I wasn't great. Went downstairs and I got a shared thermometer. It's like, yeah. So now we have to have our own thermometer. Okay, I see that. Again, why not two months ago or one month ago, whatever. A stock of face masks, ideally for two weeks. How? First of all, if we can believe the WHO, and we should believe the WHO, because it's kind of scientists that work for us, they are only useful in certain situations. Especially here, it's the classical like throwaway mask. They, they, they don't protect you from anything. It's like if you breathe in, there's air coming from the sides. You're going to fall sick. Not necessarily and probably not of uh, COVID-19, but you will. Protecting if you're sick from uh, spreading the disease, for sure. If you cough, you cough at least in the mask. So that's, that's, that makes sense. And then <laughs> be super sure to wash your hands thoroughly and goggle from time to time. I haven't Googled this because that's my only way of knowing if this is true, but goggling? Goggling. I don't know. I goggled when I was sick because, again, my Eastern European influence. Um, it, apparently, if you, uh, if you goggle with, with salt water and, and, and some other magical uh, household uh, product, it kind of disinfects and you're going to get better. Here, goggling is, is common. It's, it's really, it's, it's a go-to thing. In the gym, very often you hear people goggle 
um, when they are actually doing their shower. Um, as a matter of fact, I know someone who has a uh, work colleague every morning comes to work and goggles in the room. And apparently that's to to show that they take care of, um, that he takes care of his health and doesn't want to, to infect people or whatever. Okay, but that person already did that before the, uh, the entire COVID-19 thing. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I will not start to goggle. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Um, be sure to follow the coughing manners. Yep, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do. Again, wear a face, face mask. Don't have a face mask. Well, I, I actually have a face mask, but I will, I will, not, I will not wear it because, first of all, it's old, and second of all, it's, uh, it's icky. I will wear it once I might become sick. But better, if I become sick, I just stay at home. Um, avoid close contact, okay. Call off or suspend any gatherings or parties. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Uh, be sure to invite in fresh air. Okay, from time to time. Yeah, okay. And again, avoid gatherings and groups, blah, blah. Um, avoid using the common dining space with the other residents. People, it's like there is a shokudo. Shokudo being a uh, canteen that is still open in the in the in the uni. It's like ah, this, that's just okay, grammatical. Bear in mind, all that information didn't come via any real channel. At the moment, it's just like randomly hanging left, right, and, and center. So the, the the university has basically no real line on how to communicate. I, I don't even want to go on their Twitter feed because last time I checked, it was like, doo, doo, doo. all is good. Tokyo 2020 is like, get the fuck out of here. Seriously? Other problems at the moment. Anyway, middle-aged white men screaming at the internet, not good. <sighs> Let's keep our calm. Um, also, not face, not touching face, impossible. Can't do it. Dining blah. Be sure to prepare your health insur insurance card at all times in case you should be in need to consult a medical institution, and just learn Japanese now because otherwise you're broken. Um, yeah, English proficiency. I will not rant again about that. Um, notify lodge uh, in case you develop. Yeah, that that was quite fun. Well, fun. When I had my 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 little episode of uh, not feeling too too great, uh, I took my temperature and blah blah. blah. So I, I when I returned the um, the thermometer, the, the the guy in the at the reception because we kind of have a reception that's really really nice actually, and they speak actually good English. So if I am completely lost, I go to these guys and they usually give like they they really they are really helpful. First thing, like, how much? <laughs> like, what? How much what? Temperature. And then I, I was like, yeah, normal. Because I, I kept the thermometer for a week just to check a couple of times um, during that week if the, my temperature is actually normal or not. And it was normal. So I just said normal. Ah, okay. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, yeah. That's, that, that's quite interesting. It's like, and that's not impolite. It's sometimes the directness is just, it's just so fun. It's there's no problem in being direct or like with age. Oh, Steve, you're you're not too young, are you? It's like, yep, I love that. That's pretty funky. Anyway, that's that. There's, there's even good things in 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 in, in weird situations. Um, yeah, be sure to stock up on food supplies and drinks to last for a period of two weeks, just in case you need to be self isolated. A little birdie told me. Uh, that apparently uh, Abe is going to uh, make a communication, communication, communication. And it's a, it's a pure rumor. Um, I have nothing to, to, to kind of uh, back this up, but it's, um, it's a rumor that apparently he will, within the next two days, uh, communicate because that this so far doesn't look good and if you this also 
I should have done this in my Luxembourgish segment because it's German, but I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it now and not in Luxembourgish. But this is a uh, Landsleute Brief, <laughs> number seven. Um, it's the the German uh, embassy service, if you want so, in Japan. And um, Landsleute is just, yeah, like people from the land, literally, literally. Um, and they send a little notes like, okay, if you're on holiday, please come back. More interestingly, um, at the moment, there are still commercial flights from, from Japan to Germany and the EU. The uh, So basically the program they put in place to like fly people back home only applies where uh, to uh, to places where there's no commercial flights anymore which is that kind of makes sense so but it's like explicitly saying okay this does not uh, count for japan that's okay sure so now you just need to have the money uh to kind of rebook your um uh your, your flight and and that obviously like in, in, in modern times it's like yeah if you take a cheap flight, if you fly for 500 bucks from uh, Dusseldorf to uh, Nalita, Kyuko, well, yeah, it's a cheap flight. Well done. And then, yeah, you don't have money to come back home if you really have to. I don't know. Like, I'm judgmental on that one. And I have, uh, I have, I wonder if I don't have the money, I'll just wait. But... The magical line is this one. So it, it basically says that you cannot seriously estimate the risk of infection in Japan. There is a high probability of a dark, uh, of, a, uh, of an unknown infection rate at the moment um, because of, uh, of, too low testing so not enough tests we have no clue what goes on and this is exactly what is happening here at the moment um and that's that's just scary uh i i don't under, i don't understand well i do understand first it was uh it was of course tokyo olympics and um let's say the um the local government also has one or the other, you know, like just one or the other mini scandal going on. It's like, yeah, so we shut down, we have to stay home, and then Abe's wife just has a fucking Sakura party. Jesus Christ, bloody Muppets. I just, I don't understand that. How, how dumb do you have to be? It's rich people, I tell you. Uh, and, well, I'm kind of rich too, but maybe not rich enough to be that stupid. It's, it's just like, yeah, okay. And then we're going to have a blossom cherry, blah, blah. Ah, oh, Jesus. And there was already uh, some um, controversy a couple of months ago with, uh, uh, with Abe's wife uh, about... Uh, yeah, state-funded party thing. Like, it's like, wh why? Why are they doing that? That's just... <sighs> I don't know. The, the, the bad, just bad leadership. That's, you can't even say bad leadership. It's That's just like, who votes for people like that? And the biggest issue there is, there is no one else. And especially in this country. Here... It is really, really complex how politics works. There is like not a lot of um, public interest, young interest in in politics whatsoever. It's it's already dire all over Europe. Um, and anyway, if the if the the shit hits the fan, and if we're gonna have a fucking authoritarian regime all over the place or some other bloody not a, not even dystopian, but just like full-on beginning of uh, the dark century uh, crap, that's on us. And on me too. Instead of ranting here, I should be politically active, to be honest. But uh, it's it's tricky, first of all, not being in 
your local political country. Second of all, my country is pretty okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Um, yeah, anyway, but it's like, and if it's not that, it's it's just the the numbers are just are just weird. If you take a look at at the infection rates in um, in Japan, not the rates, sorry. If you just take a look at the the overall um, infections, we are at eighteen sixty six, so one thousand eight hundred sixty six confirmed infections in Japan and. 1950 in luxembourg jesus again it's like i live in 30 million people oh and luxembourg has more infections Mm -hmm. no no way i cannot believe that no one can believe that actually but (laughs) no one really cares i have the feeling or at least here it's it's the 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 nonchalance is to a degree where it's just unhealthy and the (laughs) The best thing, the little birdie who told me that Abe is gonna make an announcement, that's a local dude who works in a in a in a Italian restaurant. It's like, okay, well, he heard that from a friend from a friend of a friend. Okay, if you want to avoid fake news, please just fucking report the news as they are. No one ah, I'm getting aggravated. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Anyway, what, what what else is happening? Like, okay, the outbreak, it's like 60, 60 more people got infected in one day. That's a new high in uh, in Tokyo. Okay, well. And then, of course, our uh, the governor, Yuriko Koike. Uh, yeah, stay at home. Yeah, stay at home. But don't use it politically please just don't make a political statement out of it it's it's kind of <sighs> yeah it's tricky but i thought about a couple of things first of all the the social isolation thing um and I must admit, this is this is nothing nothing new. But it's if we if we take a look at at what we have been doing, we have been socially isolating for a very long time, socially. And I do it myself, and I I'm not really happy with it. And that's mainly because, honestly, of my fucking phone. the The phone I should I should just really try and not not use it that much but it's it's tricky it's it's your life by now um and i don't use facebook that much uh funnily enough most people watch my video on facebook everyone hates facebook yet they're all fucking there um that's true at least for the luxembourgish population um oh not a crossing let's check the crossing Tuck. ah beautiful Ah, the crossing. But even on the crossing, you see people like with their nose in their phone and not paying attention. And that that is your social isolation out there. And that that will not end well. That is that is a that is a social fact. Um, we'll we'll see. Maybe maybe we try and we we will find closer together amidst this kind of rather difficult time most of you go through and honestly this this sounds shit but personally i am not as as infected sorry as affected as most people and that that's that that's so weird but that is because i am again i'm in a country that ignores it that's like full on nothing's happening here and I said it before, living history is a very particular feeling. And I have the feeling I, I, I live two histories because on one end, of course, I know my family is now, uh, um, I don't want to say quarantine, but, you know, like on lockdown. Everyone is on lockdown. 
but yet here I go out in the morning. I uh, uh, accompany uh, my partner to the train. All is normal. And then on the other side of uh, of everything, people people are really people are dying. And as we by now know, not only uh, old people. Um, that's that's just so weird. This will catch up. It will catch up with uh, uh, with Japan for sure, with Tokyo in particular, and a lot of people now all of a sudden start talking about ethics. It's like, uh, yeah, but ethically speaking, should we should we sacrifice our economy to save to save what? Your life, my life, old people's lives. I don't know. We made a common choice, a common choice. Maybe not a conscious choice, but a common choice. And now we have the consequences. And I don't, I don't want to sound too preachy here, but I made the choice to, for example, for a large amount of my life to 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 buy into the um, the the iPhone Apple uh, economy. And at a certain point, I said, "Okay, I don't want that anymore." Yet I still have a phone, meaning that I am still systemically bound to 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 uh, to a I don't want to say life choice but to to just like yeah something that might not be that healthy in the long run and I, I don't mean that the waves or whatever waves are everywhere get over it yes if you put your head in the microwave it might not be so fun but it's it's yeah it's, there's a lot to to go to go through uh from from here and we'll see we'll see i'll Honestly, I don't. I don't want to ramble too much about about the the the, the COVID thing because that's essentially yeah, that is a, a byproduct. This is this 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 was clear as it was crystal crystal clear that something like that might eventually happen in our lifetime. Um, now it happened. Uh, now we need to fight because the the entire war rhetoric around the virus. Okay, I get it. If you if if people don't understand it, because we live in a in a world where we think that uh, um, vaccinations make you make you kind of sick, yet ah, please just Google a little bit or talk to to your doctor about what vaccinations have done for this planet. If we wouldn't have vaccinations, all the anti-vaxxers. 60, 70, 80 years back, all that generation, they would be dead. That's like a fact. You would have had some random ass, stupid fucking infection and you would die. Boo hoo. And now we got vaccinated and we're good. Um, the problem is like rationality, like a, a, a rational talk about that doesn't fucking work. That's like rationality is out of the window. You've got a bloody uh, a, a world power that is like, what is he talking about? It, he's in charge now of like one of the toughest challenges of any leader. And yeah, hope the stock goes up because, you know, we invested. Anyway. I'm annoyed now. This, yeah. You know what? I suggest we scramble for one, one more time together. Like, maybe watch the traffic. And once the traffic is gone, oh, it's red. And how many cars go through? Oh. One, one car. Hmm. Yeah, red lights is also fairly random here. 
And that that was one of the first indicators where I saw, okay, yeah, uh, it's a rule-based country and everyone is so fond about the rules and everything. But in reality, if you can bend the rule, you will bend the rule. And that's that's just inherently the human. Ah, I think there's even there's even sound here. Let's let's see if there was sound. No, there's no sound. No sound, but here we go. Ooh, that was an evil truck. These are these these kind of like advertisement trucks. Anyway, take good care. I will probably be back rambling about some other random stuff, but. Let's come closer together. I think that's important. Let's in th this gives us a good starting point in, in in kind of re-coordinating everything, like making sure that after this we will come out stronger, and we will have a plan. And the the biggest plan is to get rid of bloody muppets who, on one hand, claim oh yeah, I shake everyone's hand, or like, oh no, this is overblown, ah no, this is, this is fake news, ah no, this is a political party's uh, plot to, to bring us down, to get rid of these Muppets, because they are old, stupid-ass farts. <laughs>